All right, I want you to look at something. This is a uh, crater on the moon. And uh, notice these two little holes here. And then all these little bunch of holes here. Now, you're going to see around, and it looks like there's, there's walls all around it and so forth. Now, I'm going to show you uh, a mud fossil. All right, this is on a mud fossil bone, and uh, it may be a little difficult for you to see. It's microsco it's, it's under the microscope, but there's a hole here and a hole right here. These are both, the, the, there's a vein and an artery in mud fossils. Everything in, in mud fossils is fed with blood because they're all anatomical, uh, biological um, creatures at one time, and now they're petrified uh, in mud, fine mud, and in wet conditions, and it gives you this kind of... Uh, spectacular uh, preservation. Now, I showed you these. Now you see all these little holes over here? You remember the one on the moon? Let's see if I can bring this in a little closer. The microscope, this is going to be a little wavy here, so hold on tight. Okay, here we go, down inside, you see? You see down inside there? Those are round circular attachment points for ligaments, actually. And these are the, the blood supplies that supply that investment that holds on. And that sure looks like it's on the same thing as the moon to me. Now another thing I want to mention is that plagioclase is all over the moon, as they call it, the highlands of the moon, is made out of plagioclase. And that is absolutely 100% plagioclase is tendons. No question whatsoever. Now this is that mud fossil bone I was talking about. And these are the... Um, those are cartilage and everything, and this, the, you know, the blood supplies and nerve tissues and where the, the tendons invest, and this is where those kind of articulations happen. You see that? These are where you get the um, blood supplies feeding the bone. They're called bone foramen in a lot of cases. And there's holes inside of them, and they have, um, they have, um, Articul you know, uh, vascular networks. Now, you can find these in your backyard. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. You, you, nobody's looking at the rocks the correct way. And they all have this fabric on them that is, uh, it, you'll see it on a, on a coat. It has like little white fibers in it. And uh, that is what they call fascia. That's what it is. If you go to my Mud Fossil University, I'm starting to my own university, and it's already started, it's out there. It's called Mud Fossil University. It's free, there's no charge. You go out there, you look around, you do it, you can get yourself educated. Nobody's got to teach you this stuff. Nobody's got to read to you old books and tell you to think the way they think. Think on your own. Look at what is there. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, go somewhere else, play video games. But this is reality. So don't, don't listen to the professors. They're just they're reading your old books and they're bullied by the other professors and the administrators not to talk about things that they really don't understand and they don't understand literally anything. So they read old books to you and they make up things and, and uh, that's just the way it works. So what you need to do is go to Mud Fossil University. It's on YouTube. It's about 20 something videos up there. Now there's going to be a lot of them going up there. I'm going to have courses on physics and and uh, and everything because it's you know they missed the whole prime they they missed like the foundation of of everything that they talk about. If life is the foundation of geology and life is the foundation of Comet 67P, which I have a video up there, there's no question whatsoever. It's 100% organic. Now that NASA agrees with this, nothing that they thought was going to be there was correct. It is life, and, 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 and I've and that analyzed it, and there's 100% no question whatsoever. I have the video up there. It's called Comet 67P Mysterious Features Discussed. Now, so they have missed the foundation of the universe. So everything that they've come up with is wrong, and the two biggest words are uh, totally unexpected <laughs> because everything is based on something wrong. So then you hear black, dark, spooky, entwined, intermingled, at a distance, you know, all kinds of crazy stuff they come up with to justify these wrong statements. And everything that's been wrong has been accepted and has been built on as a wrong premise. So that's just the way life has, has evolved. Now, we got to get out of that. So go to Mud Fossil University, get yourself educated, go to a PhD and say, I want you to confront you, to talk to me about this. Why are you saying this? Look at what this guy's got. What is this with the DNA? What's this with the cat scans? What's this with giants? 
What's this with the earth being alive? And what's this about our, our history being, being stolen from us? And have them confront them. Don't let them demean you and laugh at you and say, oh, you're such a fool, you silly person, thinking of this guy's got something here. This is nothing that has nothing to do with me. It's just laying on the ground, and you can go and find it yourself. Go in your backyard. You will find rocks have veins and arteries. Go to my YouTube channel, and there's a, there's a video on it. I don't know what it's eight or something around it. It's like there's a series of them. There's, there's a number to it. And it says, find your own in 15 minutes. And if you can't find them in 15 minutes, I'll eat this computer right off of the desk because they are everywhere. That happened from the Great Flood. And the process that preserved them was mud fossilization. It's a wet process and it involves electrical currents sealing the entire creature because it hasn't rotted. It seals the surface with silicon, SiO2, because your surface of your skin is 50 times more dense with silicon. Water is oxygen, HO, H, H2O, so you end up with silicon dioxide, SiO2, which is sand. Eventually that erodes and creates sedimentary sandstone. The rest is mud rock and mud fossils, which is limestone and, and, and mud rock. And I have all the spectral analysis, the DNA, the CAT scans, anatomists. And I recreated this stuff in a lab, so this is, this is not a question about this. We just need to get it so that we can allow it to be understood. And the people that are supposed to teach the kids the truth are literally deluded so desperately that they want to protect their images so badly that they are willing to lie to the students and teach them something that they know is wrong because they are, are they, they, they're experts and experts cannot have have uh, been this terribly wrong I mean this is just as wrong as you can get <laughs> so you know they're they're really up against a wall and I feel for them but that's not my fault Reality is reality. You've got to confront it. And if they had confronted it in the beginning, they would be the ones making this expo expose, saying, oh, aren't we great? Well, well, then probably they wouldn't have done it because it, it, it shuts down evolution instantly. It, creation becomes top, top, top of the list. Evolution falls down to tweaks. And that's good. And everybody knew this anyway. That is an understanding person of the way chemistry works. You can't take a bunch of dust and make it turn into people and, and playing music and hating each other and blowing themselves up. You know, it, it, it just doesn't happen with dust. <laughs>